Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Free, and today I got you some rocking gameplay here. I believe it's a 46 in 1 game. Now, if I recall, I got this game quite a while ago, and if I recall, the other team called me a hacker. Granted, I did seem kind of impossible at times, as you'll see in the gameplay. Uh, I was playing fairly carefully because these people on the other team were trash talking, and when I see trash talkers and people just thinking they're the shit, I tend to kind of get a little tryhardy. And that's what, exactly what I did here. I tried to be a little bit more competitive, try to help my team out, because they were trash talking, not just, uh, well, they were trash talking my team, and they felt so sure of themselves. I was just happy to have them call me a hacker afterwards. I think one of them said unlimited UAV. Uh, it, was, it was really, really funny because these people got annihilated. And it's just, it's so fun, you know, annihilating people. I've been getting called hacker a lot, and it usually only happens on Wii. I mean, it sometimes happens on PS3, but like, eh, sometimes on PC, I guess. Anyways, but yeah, it happened, I was laughing my ass off. Anyways, here we go, on to the main topic. Call of Duty Ghosts, as you may have heard by now, has been confirmed on Wii U. Which is great for those of us who play Wii U, or for those of us who only own a Wii U, and or a Wii as well, and our only way of, to play Call of Duty is on the Wii U. Now unfortunately, we kind of got screwed over with Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on Wii U. We were promised the same game. And we got, uh, I, I guess, the same game without all the added features. For example, they really marketed all the new features that Call of Duty Black Ops 2 had, such as podcasting. You could use live, you could live stream straight from your console to any uh, video website that allows live streaming, such as YouTube, Twitch, and. You could upload your videos from uh, theater to YouTube. Now, this has been possible since Black Ops. It was possible in 1 over 3, although I don't even know how that happened because of Black Ops. The theater was beta, and then I guess in 1 over 3 they finalized it and it sucked ass. Seriously, it did. It was terrible, it was laggy. I don't know what went wrong. But. Here comes Black Ops 2 with its improved theater. Now you can live stream. Now you can, s and now it's connected through Elite. It's no longer you need to sign up through YouTube and whatnot. Like Black Ops, you need to sign up through Elite, so you can upload to YouTube clips and gameplays and stuff. And if you have Elite Premium, not only do you get all the map packs, but you get extra storage space and theater. And you get to upload actual, like, full-length gameplays that are possible now to be uploaded. But, we didn't get that. Not only did we not get that, but we also didn't get DLC. So here I am, on my Wii U, not possible for anyone to upload clips to YouTube. And some, as someone who kind of runs the Top 5 Plays show, on this channel, I was really hoping for the Wii U having the ability to upload clips directly to YouTube. Obviously the PS4 and the Xbox One will have a built-in DVR, the Wii U doesn't. So for those consoles, theater won't be all that necessary. Granted, it'll let you get some cool clips, but it's not as necessary as it is on Wii U. Where you can't upload, you can't record, you can't transfer your gameplays to your computer. Which is a shame, because like I stated, as someone who runs a top 5 plays, I would have greatly benefited, and everyone else in the community would have greatly benefited, from being able to upload their clips straight to the internet in good quality, without having to, you know, buy a capture card. But this is the result. We get a hashed version of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on Wii U. No live stream. We can upload to YouTube. We don't get DLC, though we were promised. This is back in the back of the box. And up until now, I haven't really talked much of, of 
of my actual real opinion since about DLC not on Wii U because it's a little bit more raw, unrefined, and frankly it's just trash talk and I don't really want to go there. So moving over to a topic that I actually am quite passionate about, Elite Premium specifically. As you may know, if you... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, on Nuketown 2025, come on, pre-order that. You couldn't pre-order the Wii U version, apparently, because you didn't get Nuketown 2025, even though it's free now, and for some reason it's still not on Wii U. I know so many people who love Nuketown 2025. That map is just awesome, but it's not on Wii U. And it's like the smallest map in, New T in Black Ops 2. So most, game most great gameplay is would possibly come from there. Granted, it's kind of like Hijacks, where it has t it's a small map, two buildings, some area behind those two buildings, and a middle ground. The same exact thing as Nuketown, but it's not Nuketown. I know a lot of people who would have loved to do the Easter egg in Nuketown, so you could play the video games on the Nuketown sign, but you, we don't have that. Also, like I was, uh, leaning towards earlier, Elite Premium would be awesome because we'd get all the DLC, and, and this is what I thought when I first got uh, the Wii U, is like, okay, we're not getting uh, Elite, so I can't get Elite Premium, so I can't uh, spend 50, drop $50 on it and get all the map packs reserved and stuff, no, I can't do that, oh well. I guess I'll just have to buy a Nintendo points card and buy it when it comes out. But little did I know that that was going to be not the situation. And hey, it's a shame. I would totally be willing to spend uh, 50 on a premium, especially if it allows me to have extra slots in theater and upload full gameplays. That's just fantastic. Basically, they uh, in Black Ops 2 advertise the fact that you could basically do commentaries and live stream and do all this stuff straight from the game itself. It was basically pretty basic editing f software built in. But it wasn't on the Wii U version, unfortunately, which I thought would have been awesome because, I mean, with the gamepad, you get a lot of that control in theater. And then the most, the thing I miss the most about uh, Elite is the community building. I don't know if you guys have ever played Elite uh, on another console, such as PS3 or Xbox. I played on PS3. I created. I was in a group of friends. I was in a group of friends, a clan, if you will. We were ranking up. We were playing together to rank up, just to get those emblems and those titles and that stuff to basically get our clan recognized. Now it wasn't a competitive clan, although we played competitively to uh, beat challenges that were set on Elite, that was just fantastic. I love that. I love the fact that it had a date, so everyone would know, everyone in the clan would know, okay guys, show up on this date because we're going to go play this mode and we got to go and rank up our clan. That was awesome. It was great team building. I mean, it was just fantastic. I, I will turn on my mic and I rarely ever do that to communicate with my team so we can pull through the game and win. Granted, I could do that on, on Wii, I could do it in a normal match, but there's no real reason to. I don't have the drive to win if there's no actual challenge. I mean, sure, my clan, okay, my clan's depending on me so we can win, but really, who cares? It's not a competitive game. That's what I loved about it. It built competitiveness into the game. A lot of competitiveness that had been lost. And I really, really loved it. And I'm so disappointed that the Wii U doesn't have it. And I would love to see it come to the Wii U soon in Call of Duty Ghosts. Because I think Elite is fantastic. I think it's amazing. It lets us keep score of everything, even on our mobile devices. I really love the idea. And I really want to see it on Wii U. So there you go. Call of Duty Ghosts is confirmed on Wii U. Now let's just hope they can confirm Elite on Wii U, and moreover, DLC map packs on Wii U. That is what I want to see come to the Wii U. Not just Call of Duty Ghosts, but the full game. The full game that gets released on all other platforms. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. My name is Frey. Thank you for watching.